What's up guys? So in this video, I want to show you how you can automatically link a record in Airtable using Airtable automations. It's going to do you wonders if you just want to automatically link like tasks to a project or you want to create a record here, automatically link it there. This is the video for you. So if you haven't met me before, my name is Ben Green. I'm the owner of Optimize IS and what we do is we help business owners optimize their information systems. So we help them get started on stuff like Airtable, Slack, Asana, Toggle, Trello, and many more. So if you're interested in that, request a consultation in the website in the description. But without further ado, we'll get right into the video now. All right, so as you can see, we are in our good old trusty sales CRM. You've, if you watch the channel, you probably know this base all too well. And you'll see we're in the task table right now. What we're gonna do is we're gonna set up an automation that we're gonna automatically, so say there's a opportunity that moves a stage and we want to automatically add a task in the tasks table but we want that task to be linked up to that opportunities record that was created. So I'm gonna show you how to do that in this video. And I'm also gonna show you, I also show this in another video, but you can also use this tutorial to learn how to automatically tag a collaborator in here, automatically like add Ben Green in here in this example. So what we wanna do, if we go in this opportunities table, we wanna pick whichever, so this is a sales pipeline to give you a little bit more of a view of what this is. So we have people moving from different stages in the sales process from like qualification to proposal. So I'll even this out a little bit and say more of these are in qualification right now. So what we wanna do is we want to like, say we're gonna start the evaluation process or we're gonna move them, move them from one of these processes. So I'm gonna choose when they move into the evaluation process. So that's important to know for one reason, one reason only for the automation. So to be automatically linking this record up, you might be thinking about the word automatically and that's gonna be an automation. So what you wanna do is you wanna to go to in your pro account or I think this is still available on the free account. If you go to your automations up here at the top, click on automations, then click new automations and then name your automation. So this one is going to be automatically link. So once you type that out, you can come down here and choose your trigger. And as I said, it's gonna be that, this example is gonna be that specific example where a record matches conditions. So the record has to match conditions in the specific table. So it has to match conditions in the opportunities table. And the specific condition is that the status here is a specific status. So it's only when the status moves to, I believe I said evaluation. So I hope, hope that lines up with earlier in the video, but when the status moves into evaluation, then we're gonna trigger this new task to be added in the tasks table. So once that test runs successfully, then you can click done and your trigger is done. Now you can add some other things in here. So like if you wanna add some fail safes, like if you wanna say only when the opportunity name is not empty. If you want to add a few like is not empties in here, I think that that's a great thing to add in here. So like maybe you add like the estimated value is not empty. That way, like, you know, you can do whatever things you need to know so that you can do a proper evaluation or whatever, whatever your use case is, just make sure you pick the right fields here. So then you can test again if you want. I'm just going to click done. And now I'm gonna do add an action. So if I click add an action, what you wanna do here is you want to create a record. Now in this use case, you could not use like update record unless, yeah, there's no way you could use update record in this one to update that record, to add this record, no. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this create a record. And you're just gonna click on this right here. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on the tasks table because you're gonna be creating a record in the tasks table that you're gonna link back to that first table. So now you're gonna add all the fields. Well, I guess for this example, we really only need the one field. But if I add this opportunities, this is really all I'm, I need to show you guys. So all you need to do is you need to click the plus, you need to find your record from your step one, and you need to insert the record ID. If you read right here, when you want to link, automatically link the record, you insert the record ID of the record that you want to link to. So you have to make sure this first one is a record that was created in the opportunities table, and now we're linking to the opportunities table. So those things have to be true, but then so long as those are true, you can just choose this record ID and insert it here, 
And then you can also like pre-fill some of your other things. So say you want to add your task name. So say this is like, I think this is evaluation. And say you also want to like automatically tag a collaborator. So I can tag myself in this. So that's perfect. And now if we click run this test, bam, it should work. And I'll get another notification up here because I just tagged myself and we can click done. So now I'll turn this on, click that up here, up here, turn it on, and I'm gonna show you this in action. So we can see this evaluation task, it was just created, but I do want to go show you like if I move something to evaluation. So if I change this to evaluation, actually I'm not sure that that one's going to do it because it looks like it has some blank cells in there. But if I move this one to evaluation, one that I know is already full, it'll come in here and it'll add this new task right here, right now. So. You can see it's linked up to that record that I just changed to evaluation. Like you can see, I just added this record and it just added this autom automated linked record. I hope that was helpful. If you found this helpful and you want to learn more about running automated checklists, similar to this, but with a whole checklist, a whole pre-chosen checklist of things to run, you can go check out this video. I think you'd really like it. If you gain value from this video, you'll definitely go gain value from that one. So. I hope you enjoy it and have a great day. Keep watching. Go click that video right there in the end screen and have a good day.